Hiya guys, um, I had a last video I'd made, um, someone had interrupted me and called me on the phone, um, which is quite annoying, but uh, it happens. Uh, as you may know, I like to make my videos in one go, um, so um, I'm remaking the video I already made. <laughs> so basically, it's the one minute strategy. Um, I've been testing it here, these 60 seconds here have been coming through. Um, it's not actually by VDub. Um, but I'm just seeing now we should be all right for that. Um, the Euro USD, I'm looking for a nice reversal now for the 60 seconds. Um, and there it's come, so I knew exactly that there's going to be one in a second because you can tell by the, the waves and the motion. Um, we're just going to be waiting here, so we've still got time, we've got about 30 seconds to see what happens here. If it drops back down, then the buy signal will come back up. Um, this signal generator or indicator is not done by VDub. It's done by someone called Mighty Chicken. Um, I'll post it all in the description below. So you just click the link, uh, you follow the link, and you'll be able to get to um, the, you know the source code. Uh, once you get here, when you see all the code looking like that. You just copy and paste it, and we just got a signal there. So we're going to go to Euro USD up. Um, and going back to this, and what you do, you just copy and paste all of that. You go to Pine Editor, and then you paste it back in here once you've got it. Publish script, and the script will come up on here. And it looks just like this. Um, and essentially, these greens arrows are telling you to buy, the red ones are to sell. It's quite obvious. Um, but then these arrows, which are just after, sorry, these block lines, which are just after, will tell you if the currency with this strategy is winning or losing. So at the moment, you can tell, instead of working it all out and seeing if it's winning or losing, you can tell by these red bars that this currency isn't that good to trade. Um, and now it's turned green, it's turning red. Uh, we have about 10 seconds left and it should be in the money. It's come out the money, it's in the money, bouncing around. Hopefully we win this one. Uh, yeah, we've won this one. Must must have won it. There we go. So it's another one, one with the strategy. Uh, the one I got down here, going through, this is something completely different. Um, this is a strategy that I'm trying. Um, and it's essentially what it's doing is finding out whether... Uh, the US dollar is strong or weak during the day and once you've got an idea once it's strong and weak uh, you just place the trade in the dollar's direction favorable for the dollar's direction so uh, US dollar euro USD to go down uh, because the dollar should be strong USD shave to go up because the dollar's strong USD CAD to go up because the dollar's strong yeah, it's pretty straightforward but I'm just giving it a go so I've just put a small amount of 100 in for each of these to see how it goes um, but the 60 second one I'm really liking, um, it's not like VDub's one where it will get rid of any of the old signals which haven't won, it leaves everything up here so you can actually look back and see, you know, recently EURUSD hasn't been performing that well um, for the signals, although we have another one here, I might be taking this one, we're going to go back to EURUSD. So it's really simple. All you want to do is just wait around for an arrow. If there's not one on the asset you're looking at, just keep flicking through. Um, we're on a one-minute chart here. And as you can see, we're not mate waiting for more than three minutes per signal. Here, there's a bit of a wait. That's 10 minutes max. But as you can see, most of the time, there's signals coming through. Um, so we're going to take one more, and then I'll explain my process of what I do and how I go, go around taking these trades. Um, if the arrow comes, if it goes up a bit more, we'll get the signal to take it. If it doesn't, within the next five seconds, I'm going to leave it. And it's going down. Is it going to come through? No, so I'm not going to take the trade. So what I do going through here, so as I mentioned, the green arrows will tell you whether the signal is looking good or if it's looking bad. And what I'll do... Um, on my trading view account, obviously I've got a free account. I don't pay for it. If you haven't got one, get one because it's really good. Um, and what you can do here, you can actually look quickly. You say one, two, three, okay, four, four 
uh, trades out of all of these have won. So maybe Euro USD might not be um, that good to trade on. So then what we'll do, we'll go to GBP USD. And we'll just wait a bit longer because I really want to take this trade because I've been waiting here now. And if it comes up, I'll take it. So as I mentioned, wait to the last five seconds. See, we could have taken it and lost it there. There it goes, so it'd be pointless taking that trade. Anyway, when we go pound against the dollar, we work our way through. We say, oh, wow, there's a lot of greens here. There's a lot of reds as well, but we've got a good chance of winning. Um, and But there's no indicator. So we're going to wait around. We'll see what's happening. Not much is happening, but um, so this is what you can do. You can look and see past results. Okay, it's doing quite well. We're going to go through again to the next one. USD JPY. Look at this. We say we've got some good, we've got some bad. We'll go around to the next one. Um, I'm just going to skip to Euro GBP because I don't really like the other currencies. And same again, uh, we'll go through to, all right, I guess we're going to have to go to the other ones. Okay, we've got a few here. So the ones coming down usually, so we could be sneaky and, no, we're going to leave it. We're just going to take it using the signals. Um, we're just waiting for this trade. I'm just trying to find a pair which will work. Um, might have to be desperate and go back to your USD, even though it's losing quite a lot. There's some potentially nice reversal uh, areas coming up now. I'm just looking at this. So as you can see, EURUSD fluctuates so much that the reds actually uh, come more often than the greens. So, you know, it's risky taking it, but uh, it's a risk I'm willing to take. We'll, uh, so all of these have come in. These are just coming in now, which is nice. So the strategy works, essentially. Um, does not work with pound against the dollar because obviously with Brexit and you know everything like that. Um, yeah, so we're just looking through. I might avoid trying it with the pound again uh, next time because mostly the pound they're doing like fundamental analysis in and less of technical analysis. So it's just relying on news and seeing what's happening. Uh, and speeches like that, but um, it could be coming in. We'll just look. And as you can see, when one changes the direction, they all really change the direction. Um, but I'll cover this strategy in another video. Um, for now, we're just doing the one minute strategy, um, uh, which is working quite well. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go to gold again. Wait in here. All right. So recently, there's been a lot of greens, so I'd be inclined to stay here. Um, so I'm going to hang around for a bit. See what happens. Right, it's taking a bit of time anyway to find the uh, something. All right, so that's coming in. Wow, they're all in now, which is cool. Oh, spoke too soon. That's right. Anyway, the essentially, I want to be looking through this. It's a really straightforward strategy. So all we're looking for. So step one would be to go through the currencies and look to see how many wins and how many losses there are. So the red bars here are the losses and the greens are the wins. So that means it doesn't matter if it's a buy or a sell. 
The green means it's a win, red means it's a loss. Second of all, after that, once we've done that, that'll be step one. Step two, once we've found the currency which with a lot of greens, we want to wait for this green arrow here. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to wait for the arrow and we want to wait for this timer to get down to the last five seconds. If the arrow or the red arrow, it doesn't matter, if one of the arrows is still there, either of them, in the last five seconds, and then you run over to stop pair, obviously get your trade ready. So for instance, I'll do that. So it's all ready. Then all I do is just wait here. Then as soon as it's done, I just get bam, click it, and then I can do it. Um, so for instance, we're looking at gold right now. Uh, we'd ask ourselves, why has it peaked up here and it's turned at some point? We can look back. See, so all I looked at was just that there. I drew a line, and if you look back, you can see it's used it as support a few times. Probably used it as resistance as well. Yeah, it's used it a lot. Um, and what we can essentially do, we can expect it to reverse off of this again. So we could say in the next half hour, if it goes up a bit more, we could say in the next half hour it's going to reverse. That's just a... We're getting sidetracked anyway. So once we've done step two, we found the arrow, which is it's likely to go in that direction. What we do, we actually get it all ready, wait to the last five seconds. If you don't have, um, you know, if you can't get that on there for some reason, always use your timer. So I always have a timer here as well, just to make sure and to see how slow trading view is running. So you can see... Um, here that training view is only like by half a second slower it's not that much um but anyway wait to the last five seconds you head over to asset quickly place trades for 60 seconds and you just wait for it that's all you got to do really um it could have just been luck but every trade i've taken with the 60 seconds um has come in apart from this one here but that wasn't using the strategy that was actually trying something else um, I thought I'd be clever and catch a reversal, um, but it just kept going up instead. Um, and that one lost. But, yeah, the notion is that it is a good strategy. Um, I'm surprised I haven't come across this earlier. Um, so, once again, it's done by the Mighty Chicken. Um, I'll post it all in the description. Let me know how you get on with it. Um, but as I mentioned before, uh, because there will be some people who you know, we'll just take a trade anyway, try and find an asset with as many greens as possible like this, so you've got more of a chance of winning the trades when you trade. Alright, thank you very much.